Hey everybody, welcome back to another video with Milky Pups. We are playing Conan Exiles. Yeah, I was gonna make an online series that didn't go so well. I also started this before. Uh, that didn't go so well. So now I'm starting all over again. So, yeah. Sorry. And I'm actually gonna continue this series. I'm not gonna edit these videos at all. Um... Before I make that settings, if you want to ever change your audio or something like that, and if you want to make your own, I'm not going to have the nudity on due to YouTube's rules, but uh, I'm going to leave it off. But if you ever want to turn nudity on, and if you're old enough, you go here and click to partial. We only get partial because we're not... Uh, we don't have the other version of it, but I'm going to leave that the way it is. Um, I'm going to go single player, new game. Continue is going to overwrite that. Okay, and then there's all different game modes, as you can see. I'm just going to go over them, pause them, and you can read them yourself. I'm going to read the one I'm obviously going to choose. And then custom. That's where if I'm not going to get into that. You have to look up another one for custom. Sorry, guys. I'm not doing that one. The one that I am going to play is Decandent. Um, <sighs> this level is for people who have played survival games before and want to be challenged but not overwhelmed. This is a baseline Conan Exiles experience. You will drop all your items on death. You must recover them from your body. Buildings do not become abandoned over time. The purge will target and attack your base, base periodically. Sounds good to me. Let's play. We're gonna, yes, delete. Because we're starting all over. Fresh. And then as we get in, I'm going to show you guys how to go craft stuff. We're going to go through the journal together, obviously. You know, as we go through the game, we'll discover stuff together. I honestly don't really know anything about the game. Uh, I did play online for a little bit with my friend. No, was, and learned some stuff. Forcibly. <laughs> uh, but yeah. We're going to go through it, and I don't even know how to complete the game. I don't really know absolutely anything. I don't know. I never Google any anything. There's very, very few books that I found and very, very few things that I've ever done in this game. But I don't mind starting all over. In fact, I think it'll be more fun. Um, for all I know, I might find a friend along the way. I don't know who's exactly going to join me in my single player mode, but I, for the first part of it, it's just going to be me. Anyways, let's go with female. Um, as you can see, there is different races. You can pause it again and read behind them. Oops. Okay, and that's um, all of them. And this, this is the one I'm going to pick, uh, Norm Helmer, the yellow-haired Esier 
Red haired Venere are a pale skinned blue eyed race who rule the kingdoms of the north. Cinemaria known for being wayward and fierce. They use their powerful bills of and brute strength to overwhelm the enemies in battle. That's the one I'm going with. Same thing again. There is different religions. I'm just going to scan over them. You guys can pause and read them yourself. But the one, again, what I'm going to choose, I'm going to read to you. Anyways, I'm gonna go with this one. <laughs> the set, or set, um, well, set the old serpent, the god of Tyrians, the set worship, or in, um, orientated with the serpent people who were driven from the world, King Kolissa. But he rose once again among the ancient races of the South players who wish to partake in the ritual sacrifice of hearts to learn the secrets of snakes and summon a dry serpent as their avatar should choose a set set in the arch enemy of I don't know. Anyways, let's just go with that one. I have never done that before, so we'll again figure that out as we go. Are watching. Cut me down. Death is coming. The gods. The gods are watching. I'm gonna go with that one. Uh, and this is again. There's loads of customization. Um. I don't remember what the heck name my. Character look like. Oh my god. Looks kind of cool. Mm. <laughs> no. I want to go with that. I'm going to make my hair white though. That looks really cool though too. I'm going to make my eyebrow black. I'm just going to um, make a dark gray. I should doll. Like black. I want a black. Lips. Pink. You can obviously do all kinds of stuff but I just want to get through it. Base details, I'm just gonna make it a little bit shorter. Again, no nudity. Physique, make it young, the other way. Up is old, down is, or black. <laughs> black is young and right is old. And you can obviously, yes, change this. I'm just gonna go with this. And I think I did everything. I hope finalized character confirm. Crucified and left to die for crimes that they may or may not have committed. Death comes swiftly on black wings until fate intervenes.
thirsty, dead woman. Shall I cut you down from that corpse tree? It might kill you. You civilized women are soft. Your lives are not nailed to your spines. Live, love, burn with life, slay and survive. We will meet again, dead woman. Well then, thanks for the warning on the sandstorm, Conan, or whatever the hell his name was, I already forgot. Anyways, um, here we are. First things first, this is my character. Uh, most things in the game, like I said, I played for a bit, like that's how we discover stuff. First things first is square is to pick up stuff. Most of this game is just about surviving. You're gonna build, kill things, gather things, find things. Just a bit. There's gonna be bosses, blah blah blah. That's all I know. I didn't do anything. So we're gonna have to figure it out to myself. Like I said, maybe I'll have somebody come join me along the way. I'm not really sure yet. Uh, Let's just go back here and... Okay, let's, let's do one thing here and a time here. Okay. Behold, Pondit One, the very boundaries of civilization. Beyond the passage of our highways lie the wild places of the world where untamed savages make endless war upon each other. You cannot pass into the endless wastes enslaved. Your bonding prevents it. Return. Follow the road. Any road. All roads lead to the city. As again, to what city, what the hell this rock is talking about? I have no idea. I've already played this game for a few days online with my friends, but honestly, all I did was focus on building. Maybe did slightly a little bit of exploring. I will show you all the stuff that I do know and hints that I've learned myself because I like to learn the game for myself. I don't Google nothing. I don't do nothing. Uh, just for the heads up on that. So if you want to learn things quick, 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 this is not the YouTuber for you. I'm going to just show you what I know and what I learn and we'll go through the game together is basically what's going to happen. Okay. And I didn't even notice, honestly, this before. Okay. 
Mm, what's this? I am beaten, left to rot among the ruins of the past. There are others here, slaves, bandits and cannibals, exiles from lands I've never heard of. Some of them try to scrape a life from the wasteland, scrabbling in the rocks and sand for their own place. I cannot go on. The life that I left behind haunts me. The sun over the glittering spires of Belverus is forever denied me. The smell of my daughter's hair. I will pass the ghost fence, and this cursed land will finally end me. To whoever reads this note, I leave the last of my water and this message. Stranger, you have my pity. You do not know how cursed you truly are. Well, shit. Well, shit, huh? I actually never noticed that note before. Wow. I've actually never read that before in my life. That is nuts. I miss so many things. Anyways, you play act right off the bat. Obviously, you yourself go talk to that, go pick up that, you know. Again, I'm I'm probably gonna walk by a million of these books and not notice them, and that's fine. I'll eventually maybe find them. Maybe I'll never find them. It's just one of those things where I'll figure it out. And if I don't figure it out, well, that's that, I guess. <laughs> Some things I might have to, or I might have to ask a friend. Like, if I really, really, really can't figure it out, then yes. Um, but I won't Google it myself, so. I'll use a different cheat sheet. <laughs> like an NPC. <laughs> I'll make him come into the game just to talk to him. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, okay. Let's just keep moving on forward. And up in the top right corner, you can see a journey. It's a, a things of a list of things to do. Um, and then in the top left, that's your health is the red one. Stamina is the yellow bar. And then below that, the little droplet. That's your drink. The other one is your food bar, which is the steak. You can eat berries. You can cook food. There's all going to be all kinds of things. Oh, more sticks. We need sticks. I heard something. Wow. Oh. Check that out. Ah! Oh. Well, my sticks. Da 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 Six, 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 six. Hello! You're alive. Oh no, you're, you're definitely no longer alive. What's this? Gods curse this sandstorm. We were forced to take refuge before the wind scoured the skin from our faces. There is something in the storm. Beasts. We hear the skittering of their paws outside the ruins, and their howls mingled with the screaming winds. The men are scared. I've put them to work crafting rudimentary weapons and torches from the loose stones and rough plants that dot this place. I've yet to meet a beast that liked fire, or the bite of the axe. Okay, well... Another bit of uh, information given to us from another dude that's dead. First one pulled suicide, that one got eaten to death. There's magical talking rocks. I don't know what is happening or what, you know? Like, my brain is just like... I feel like I'm just missing so many, so many things. Uh, let's just make it into 
the town because we definitely need water. Oh yeah, so first things first, actually. Uh, the square, obviously, button was to pick stuff up. So now on your PS4 controller, because I am playing PS4, click the big black button in the middle. It'll bring up your inventory. And then if you press L2, it'll bring you to your map. And this is where you can see your, this is you. And when you discover something, it'll be like this. So you can see, this is the whole map. It goes way huge. There's so much to explore. Lots, 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 lots. Um, and then to craft stuff, uh, if you use your toggle or your D-pad to move over, you can craft stuff. So very first things first, I'm going to craft my gear. I'm going to make an uh, axe, a pickaxe. I don't have enough sticks for a torch. I can make some twine as well. So that will be crafting now. And the twine we need to make the sleeping bag. That way if we die, it won't matter. <laughs> And my best advice is obviously just pick up little things, craft, 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 craft. Um, I like to steal eggs for food, and I love starting here. Okay, let's just keep going straight. You get lucky, you'll start here. There's a few starting points, and I think it might go off of which race you choose. Not really sure. Something chasing me. I just want water. There. Okay, we got that down. Gain the level. Raft a tool. And that wants us to use a bedroll. And there's all these little BBs. I don't want the babies, I just want the eggs. Oh, some, something's happening. Somebody's hiding something somewhere. Sometimes the NPCs will fight each other, which is amazing. I'm gonna craft that. Oh, I need more sticks. I'm gonna need a torch too. I don't I don't touch my gamma settings so at night time it's so freaking dark. And I don't like the darkness. I don't like to go out at night time. Night time is sleep time. So uh I have to do as much as I possibly can during the day. Sometimes I might be forced to play in the, throughout the night. That's why we'll need said torch. Because I'm not going to edit these videos. <laughs> They're just going to be uploaded straight from my PS4 straight to you. Just like that. Let's try not to run into any, any, any enemies. <laughs> there, now we can make a torch. We got water. Let's put that right there. Fill up our canteen. So we, oh, to get into your hot bar, you hold down L1, which will open up this, and then you can use your right toggle to go to it. And then when you want that item, let go of both, and it'll take it out. Same thing, you want to put it away, do it again. Um, <clears throat> now, again, on the right above where I'm moving my stuff around, you can see your account name. Next to that is your level. So now if we click R2, we can go to attribute, which is where you can, again, look through and level up what you want to level up, which I'm just going to go straight for strength right off the bat. And then you do it again, click R2 again. This is now feats where you can learn to craft things. 
I'm going to do the campfire and the, the crate right off the bat. And that's all I can unlock because I'm only level 3. Um, and I also want to see right there, there's a crocodile. Gotta be careful. I'm going to try to unlock daggers. And then we can start fighting some stuff. So I'm not really worried about building houses right now. What's one other thing I can possibly show you? I won't make this beginning one too, too long. Um. Oh, when you're in here, when you want to look at other things, you press R1 and L1 to scroll back in between. As you can see, there's weapons, there's armor, there's rituals, there's all, you can see everything, but sometimes it doesn't show everything, everything. So you have to actually go back and look. But anyways. There is, as you can see, it's so pretty. There's so much to explore. Oh, I have to eat. That's a level. And then I have to use my bedroll. I'm just going to put it up on this cliff where it's pretty safe. I'm going to put it right there. And as you can see, a spawn point was updated. So whenever you die, you'll come back to wherever you put a sleeping bag. And press X on a thing to climb. And as you can see, triangle, you can release and, and fall down. But you also get fall damage. You can get hurt or killed. You can also hold down X on some items. You can break it, pick it back up. See? I can take it, and I get it back. I can put it back down. Some things you cannot do that with, so be careful. We will go over them as we craft them. Which ones you can, which ones you can't. And now the other one is slay, kick, dodge. So um, kick, I think, is R2. No, that's punch. So it must be L2. There we go. L2 is kick, sorry. And then dodge is, I think, circle. Yeah. And then eat a fitting meal, which is cook, did a dedicated weapon, and slay. So now that we leveled, let's level some more strength. Because that's what we're going to need right off the bat. So don't do structures. Go straight to weapons. And this is where, again, you can pick two-handed, you can pick an axe, you can use one-handed, you can use hammers, you can use daggers. I have to be level 6 to make daggers. Oh. I'm at level am I now? <laughs> I'm level 5. I'm almost level 6. It won't take me long. All you have to do is just keep... And you can eat bees. There's certain things you can eat. Obviously, you can't eat. Um, obviously, better meals will regenerate better. And even when you overflow, you can still move. So that's kind of a nice... I've played a few other survival games, so... I find this one pretty fun. Oh, you can also hold it down, so I don't know why I'm spamming it, but I am. So I also need wood and twine so I can make now more twine. Now let's get out my axe. So let's go uh, chop a tree. Get some, some wood as you can see. We'll also get sticks too sometimes. I mean branches. And then now if you use a pickaxe on a tree, you will still get wood but less, but you also have a chance of getting bark. Which bark is again used 
for other things. See? There. We got some bark. Oh, I almost hit that guy. Um. Now we... Yeah. We leveled up. Okay. Now we put it all in strength. We're going to go to the next one. Go over, over, over. Over. We're going to unlock my diggers. Yay. Okay. And then we're going to go back. And then now you can see we have daggers. And now we just need more stones. So we're going to take out our pickaxe. We're going to go over to these rocks and smack them around. And some stuff I will just be like, uh, like all this gathering. I'm just going to gather a bunch of resources, put them all in a, a few crates, and then obviously I'll do a video of us building together. But obviously me gathering is not that exciting. Uh, definitely need more wood. But at least now we can craft our daggers. But as those craft, let's get some more wood to build a crate. Those crates will be useful. Also, we've got to build a fireplace to make a, a, a proper meal. So again, it doesn't take that long. I mean, it, it's easier if you got some friends to play with, obviously. Um... Just like any survival game, which I pl play a few survival games. Now that I have my daggers done, I can put them where the sleeping bag one is. Look at that. Now that we got some daggers, let's go find that terrible guy. Um, there is two of them, so this is kind of risky. Oh, yeah. Anyways, no. you want to toggle onto the parent. You push in the right toggle. So I'm just going to start slicing them. And then dodge back, dodge back. Oh, they, oh they're, they're a lot tougher than... Yeah. Well, I actually killed them. That was pretty awesome. So, now that we did that, let's harvest their body. We'll get hide and meat. So, that is amazing. Now, let's just go do some more trees. Because, well, we need them. Now, let's make a campfire plus a crate. Let's go back up to where our little cliff was. Not that this is going to be where base is going to be, just this is where I'm just going to show you guys a few basics. So now to place that down, you're going to hold down uh, L1 and then that'll bring up your thing. And then as you can see, I have the campfire. So I can place it where I want to place. Press circle to get back out. Go to the campfire. I'm just going to place it right there. Storage box. Mm. Apparently. Oh, whatever. Right there. Okay. Uh, square to get into the fire. Put wood in there. Put food in there. Press L2 to trigger the fire. Look at that. It's cooking. Uh, square to get into your little uh -oh. box thing there you can put stuff in there store goods and then this is one of those things where you can hold down square you can lock it if you want from your friends 
and then also you can return it to your inventory which also just puts the things that were in that said box back into your inventory and therefore if you wanted to move that box somewhere else you could do it just like that now our food's done so as soon as your food's done it automatically turns off which is a beautiful thing and now that our food's done boom eat that look we eat a fitting meal now it wants us to use the torch, which I just never did yet. That's another level. Uh, it says, find shelter, create a home, skeleton exile camp. Those are the things that we will do in the next video. I hope that this maybe helped you just get started fairly quick. Um, yeah. We'll get into it in the next one. I hope you like and subscribe and come back to see the next videos. Uh, for now, I'm just going to gather a bunch of stuff, put it in some crates, and we'll find a place and live there. Sounds good. Bye-bye. Oh, notes. I forgot all about this. Can I? Ah, look at that. I can wave. Ha-ha. <laughs>